So, um, this is my first, possibly my first video. Uh, my name's Demeter. Uh, I will probably be recording random games like this. I got this a long time ago in the Ukraine bundle. It looked interesting. So we're going to play it. I'm assuming it's like, uh, <coughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm assuming it's like a visual novel of sorts, from what I can tell at least. Maybe even a dating sim. Uh, well, and yeah, we all start somewhere. <laughs> so, just gonna hop into one. Ooh, do they have voices actually? Because I don't. Database system online. New profile detected. Analyzing. Analyzing. New profile two three seven 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 one, economic bracket lower middle, employment category bleak, currently emo <laughs> current emotional health rating low. Is this us? <laughs> Ideal candidate for premium level assistance. Proceed. Uh, okay. Premium level assistance re requested. Proceed. Okay, pretty please? Wait, is it talking to us? Wait, <laughs> it's actually, okay. Okay. Overriding denial of assistance, establishing premium services for profile 237771. Justification, hope. We have hope, let's go. Hope should be rewarded. Hope should be rewarded, spirit must be restored. If you can't tell, I don't have much experience fucking talking. Uh... Now compiling personal metadata. Oh! Oh, we get to... Okay. Um... Oh, fuck. I can't even spell my own name. Uh, Demeter. Um... Do I need a last name? Oh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> Let's just go. Fuck it. D for Demeter. Uh, I am a he. Uh, I guess. Color. You know what? Do I want to make it semi realistic? Fuck it. Yeah. It's my first recording. You're gonna find out a shit ton about me. Uh. Yeah, let's go dark brown. I color. Holy shit, those are. That's not what I wanted. Hazel. Hazel. Damn, he's he's mesmerizing. Clothing, fuck it, red, because red is a great color. Ah, my eyes. Why is it so bright? Uh... Ah, this is a bit annoying with the sound. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I guess we're done. Yes. Premium level assistance for profile 237771. Demeter D has been activated. See, if this is a love game and we need assistance, we must get a zero fucking game. We must have zero game. For the sake of his hopes and dreams. <laughs> this is sad. Why am I playing this? Following his work fiction, all references to trademark classic arcade game titles are used under normative fair use and should not be considered an endorsement by the publishers or creators. Witness don't use drugs. <laughs> fiction. Oh, okay, yeah, that's okay. 
Wait, is the game in the game? Wait, is the game in the game? What the fuck? Uh, I don't know the controls. Oh, okay. It is a future year 20 blank. A dark era in which mankind is pushed to the brink of catastrophe. Woe be to the human race, plagued by evil, terrifying, utterly sinister. Uh, I don't know. Robots, maybe? Evil robots? How does that work? Yeah, no, sorry. But the future year 20 blank is pretty much what you'd expect it to be. Non-flying cars, smartphones, pro gamer celebs, internet trolls, personal assistant AI, cheese flavor snack food. This is current year. This is like now. This isn't the future. This is now. <laughs> But even with such wonders as 20 blank holds, to date I've had no part in any of them. I've worked as a dishwasher, a shoe sale person, and lifeguard for the local community pool. Com Did you say commu <coughs> community pool? I don't care what era of human history you live in, kiddies peeing in the pool is pretty much a constant thing. Trust me on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As for bustling, I need. Mean Metropolis of 24-hour neon-utopia you see. As for the bustling metropolis of 24-hour neon-utopia you see here, my little corner of it isn't nearly as shiny and cool. Let me show you. Behold, my quaint little apartment. Oh shit, it's actually kind of animated. Fair enough. Can't complain really, it's paradise in a relative sense. I only pay half a rent. Neighborhood stabbings have been down this year. Also, my roomie picks up any stray socks or shirts I leave lying around. Clearly not. Unless that's like a throw. No, that's a jumper. That's a vest. In fact, as things go, I'm living large compared to most of in my family's room. Nope. Oh, fuck. Hiccups. Um, at least I was before today. You got fired from another job? They have voices? Seriously? This is giving me That's some. Three jobs since we left the suburbs. Damn, I was hoping you'd drop across my name. This is giving me some like pantheon stalking vibes. At least the hair. Or what's what's her fucking name from Street Fighter? You know, you probably know who I mean. The horrified-looking young woman there would be my roommate and childhood friend Juniper. Juniper's the one who spearheaded this effort to co-rent an apartment. She's also the one who encourages, who encourages me whenever I lose a job, like, you know, today. Wait, we lost a job? When, wait, I didn't even pay attention. I don't <laughs> get why you weren't more upset about this. I'm upset. I'm upset on your behalf. Come on, share the load a little, okay? Damn. Pulls close. Pulls close, Juniper. Not much I can do about that. Why get upset? Oh, okay, so... The pool we were lifeguard at closed, fair enough. Because you actually... Oh, wait. Do I have to do voices? <clears throat> nah. Because, <laughs> because you actually enjoyed that job. More than you enjoyed dishwashing soap and smelly socks. At the very least. I'm not the complaining sort. These things just happen. Things fall apart. The center does not hold. That's a, more, that's a bit morbidly poetic, isn't it? No, I mean, the community center literally fell apart and the pool won't hold water anymore. Whatever, I'll, I'll just get another job. Any job will do, as long as we can make re make rent, right? Wrong. I say how mopey, I saw how mopey and tired you were, coming home every night from those other crappy jobs. At least when you got back from the pool each day, I sometimes caught you smiling. What's the point of us moving away from home, if not to get away from all of, all of that? Am I missing some, like, major backstory here? I mean, we both left that town so we could try to find happiness, right? What? What? Why is it trying to make me sad? I just want us oh, to Oh, shit, happy. I just noticed the, um... Both of us. The kitty fire eyes she's wearing. Fair enough. Pretty, pretty nice. I thought you hated your job. Come on! Oh, I was so confused. No deflecting, this is about you. Ah, my ears. 
my mind's made up. We're going to find you a job that's just as good, if not better, than the Life Garden job. I'm assuming we work at an arcade. We'll work at, well, I mean, we'll work at an arcade. Let's start from the top. What's your dream? Well, I'm standing in front of a class to give a speech and I forgot to put my pants on. Not that. Your dream job. Oh. I don't know, Ju I need. I nearly called a fucking Jupiter. I don't know, Juniper. I've never really given it any serious thought. I've got it. Oh, hey. I think I've got just things to help you out. Juniper pulls out her phone, rapidly tapping an unlock code onto the glass before pointing out a little pink icon. It's a virtual life coach app. Mine keeps me from being late to meetings. Totally free too. My cousin introduced it to me. Wasn't he the guy who ended up in the ER after making a homemade flamethrower? It would have worked. It would have worked if he got a fuel mixture in his water gun, right? Wait, he put... He made a flamethrower out of a fucking water gun? Anyway, I'm sending a copy to you now. I got a pop-up an hour ago offering me 500 points just for recommending it to a friend. Great timing, huh? Well, as long as you're earning points, I guess. At least give it a try, okay? Maybe it can point you at some good jobs. Ones with less socks and or urine. Uh, I'll think about it. Okay, okay, but don't think too long, right? In the end, I installed the app. Couldn't bear to see Juniper fretting over me like that. Oh, shit. It's actually... They went through every single possible design and drew the CGs for it. I like that. I rate the effort. Not that I find it annoying. I mean, it's more that she has enough trouble in her life without troubling herself over my life too. Both of us had it rough. Fuck. Both of us had it rough up to the, up to and through the point where we left home to try and start a new life. A, a better one. She deserves better than me and my problems. Bless her heart. She means well. She's been firmly in my corner for all my life. The two of us. Against any dark forces aligning against me. That's not to say she's good at being my advocate. Enthusiastic, yes. But skilled? Nah. Typically the fantastic opportunities and self-help resources she sends my way are pyramid schemes or something. She's gung-ho about lending me a helping hand, but... Yeah... So the main reason I went ahead and installed the app was to make sure Juniper wasn't... Oh, fuck. Um, wasn't about to get her kidney sold on the black market or something. Still, no sense messing around with it now. A good night's rest would act as a neat little emotional reset button, right? Right. See, I'm, try I'm trying to figure out where this is going to go. No dreams, no nightmares. Just eight hours of sweet, sweet black. That's worrying. By the time morning light leaked in through the cracks and the blinds, I didn't care anymore about being unemployed again. Jinpa had already left to catch a bus to her office. She, tip she typically leaves before dawn, but she left a note for me, pinned to the tiny fridge we shared. Was for That's not tiny. That's not tiny. That's a big fridge. Uh, yeah. Remember, down, that, remember, oh. I was going to talk, like, in a sentence, but now I think about it, it's note form. Remember, download app, find dream job, make money, sort your life out. I believe in you. So, moment of truth. Do I trust Juniper's weird little app? Or just go find some job that pays well enough to cover the bills? Oh shit, you actually make choices. Um, you know what, Jupiter, Jupiter, <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> Juniper's a good friend, so yeah, sure. Fingering, did I say fingering? Figuring at the very least her miracle app could possibly help me find the job. I load it up, tap the icon, and. Hello. There's a person on my, on my phone. Huh. Okay. See, that's what I mean. Any Anybody else would freak out over a cute girl climbing out of a phone. Me? I went, huh. 
Also, it's one of those new kind of 3D screens, so, you know, not actually magical realism here. Very normal in the distant future year of 20 blank. Thank you for downloading Iris, your personal life coach. This is the ad-supported free version, sponsored by Pizza Yums. <laughs> oh, no, now I'm thinking about how ads would work in fucking 3D phones. Did you know that when you have pizza on yep. a bagel, you can have pizza anytime? Wow. Would you like to subscribe to Pizza Facts? No. Fest? No. Thank you for subscribing to what? Pizza Facts. That's a no. <laughs> but. I'm here to help you get your dream job, your dream house, and your dream partner. I'm here to make all your dreams come true. Aha. Uh -huh, so the, we're going, we're trying to get our job, but then we end up getting a part. I see how this, I see how this could go. For a tall order for an app to do. Or are you some sort of wish granting genie? Hmm. Well Oh shit fuck it. Well, I suppose in the modern parlance, a massively interconnected nah, I'm not doing a robot voice. Uh a massively interconnected uh database searching virtual assistant could be considered a kind of a genie in a bottle. But honestly, all I can do is give you the ch uh, the chance to improve your life. What you do with it is up to you. I can cross-reference search data for you, but without motivation, you won't get anywhere. I glance up from my phone at the, at the heaps of laundry and half-finished books and other items strewn about my apartment. Motivation is something I have a ton of. Honest. Hooray! <laughs> what? Why are you lying to a robot? She can. She's 3D. She can probably look around and see that you're lying. That's super. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Before we begin, do you have any questions? Sure. Why should I use this app at all? I mean, my phone, were, my phone already had a voice-activated assistant AI. I could just say, hey phone, search the web for job listings, and it'd work just as well. Ah, but I have an advanced emotional language interpreter. I'm smarter than the average program, with more heart. I can help you sort out your life by analyzing your personality and finding you a perfect path in life. All thanks to my glorious, wondrous, patent pending, super duper identity identifier system. Between you and me, that really, really wanted. Uh, between you and me, they really, really wanted an acronym that, that matched my name, but couldn't figure out what to do with the letter R. Identity identifier. I forgot what the S was, but I don't know. Do what we are to be. Would you like to know more? Fuck it, tutorial. I'm a tutorial boy. Every time you think about saying something, I can tag it with an identity. That way you can be the sort of person you want to be. This system allows me to better understand who you are and what you need from life. I do this by analyzing your tone, inflection, and word choice. I can spot five different identity identifiers in your responses to people. Quirky, steady, kindly, gutsy, and basically. Sounds to me your programmers also wanted a bunch of things to end in Y. That's correct. My branding game is on point. Oh, that fucking scared me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, quirky responses use jokes, snark. Okay, so it's it's like a basic, like, like rewarding point system from a novel. It's like each person would like certain responses, like. Someone might like quirky responses, so you do more quirky stuff with them, or might like gutsy responses, etc. Okay, okay, I can get behind this. Quirky responses use jokes, snark, and sarcasm to make light of a situation. Just a thing for picking up someone's spirits. But a badly timed joke may not win over the room. Over the room. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, steady responses are sincere, honest, and logical. When you stop and think before speaking, you're on steady ground. But that might not take someone's feelings into account. Okay, so each one has its pros and cons, obviously. Kindly responses are compassionate and empathetic, and gentle in nature. They're, they're careful with the feelings of others, but uh, they're sometimes a bit wishy-washy as a result. Gutsy responses go with your gut. When you're brash, bold, risk-taking, and, and instinctive, you're gutsy. Uh, but it also means... Oh, I thought it said being a cunt. <laughs> I thought it said being a cunt. Uh, but it also means being blunt, 
confrontational and aggressive, so be careful. Lastly, you can always take a basically option. It's a balanced and neutral response, safely moving the conversation along while learning more and digging deeper. Over time, I'll build up a personality profile for you based on the identity identifiers detected in your speech. Maybe you predom you'll be predominantly quirky, genuinely steady, steady, a bit of both. Who knows? It's up to you. Wait, so will it will it say? I'm guessing it won't say like what the response is when when you're about to send it, and then it'll be like, "Yeah, you mainly went gutsy." I'll have to guess what what each one is. So, what you're saying is I should always try to crack jokes or be super gutsy. Oh, and never speak basically. I mean, being basic is bad, right? It sounds bad. Nope. Heck no, they're all useful in the right context. There, there are no bad choices. Consider what you what you could say and go with what feels right in the moment. Don't limit yourself. Sure, you could gamify your personality. Gamify, gamify your personality. <laughs> what? Why did I think I said, why did I read it as gamify? Sure, you could gamify your personality. But it's more fun to let people to let it happen naturally, you know. Just be you. Should I be me, or should I be smart? Cause I'm not smart. Now, let's see my patent pending identify identify identi identity identify system in action. How do you feel about dad jokes? Hi, hi, hungry. I'm dad. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. Cause, cause I told a jad, a jad, a jad doke. Yeah, I told a jad doke. <laughs> Hi, jokes. I'm dad. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I never said I was good at dad jokes. Just like glad I could go for them. So now that you've seen the identity, identi, identi, indicators, <laughs> in action. Do you want to see what the indicators? Do you want to see the indicators like that, so you can make an informed decision? Oh, thought I could hide the indicators, keep it a surprise. That way, it doesn't influence your decision making. It's up to you. Yeah, fuck it, hide it. What what will be will be. Yeah, so mysterious. Okay, I'll hide them from you. You'll always be able to spot basically which ones are. Anyway. As we go along, I'll analyze and tally your identity identifiers. In fact, let me show you now. Good work. Really look at that. Such a strong personality. Thank you, thank you. You asked me a single you asked me a single question. Up to a great start, I'd say. And hang on, you're scoring me? Didn't you say not to gamify my, my personality? Yeah, I would. Hey, I said you shouldn't. I'm an app. I think in numbers, so I gotta gamify a little. Anyway, studies show that achievements or chivos as a kid. No one says that. I've never heard a single person say chivo. Anyway, studies show that achievements encourage app engagement. <coughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Minor, mm, yeah, minor malfunction. Uh, sadly, show that achievements encourage app engagement. Okay, well, what's with the empty space on the left? Oh, I also track vocal responses from people you meet. Once you get to know some folks, I'll let you know how well you're getting along with them over here. Over there, sorry. Wait, so what? I'm assuming that this is legit just how the game works. What would happen if I didn't? Like, open the app. Relationship scores. Wonderful. So, will you also tell me what the correct responses are to avoid making enemies? Or do I need to go find a walkthrough for the vast game you're making you're making of my daily life? Uh... You're looking at this the wrong way. Generally, people don't won't get super annoyed at you unless you deliberately and repeatedly provoke them. And it'll be obvious when you're doing that. I promise you that if you bungle a few social encounters, it it won't really hurt anything. No cheating needed. Just relax and have fun. 
can access your skull card anytime. Uh, fuck. You can access your skull card anytime you like. You, you like with a Q key. Okay. I have a Q key. Or click the skull in the upper right corner of your screen. Okay. And that's everything. Ta da! Okay, but how is any of that supposed to help me get a job? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I only downloaded this app because my roomie claims you're a great life coach for the unemployed. What good will taking the quiz off the back of a supermarket? Huh? What good will taking the quiz off the back of a supermarket check out Rack Magazine do? Why? That? It'll help me understand your spirit, of course. You can talk to ghosts? Is there ghosts? Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> Am I a ghost? You have to tell me if I'm the ghost. That's the rule. Yes, tell me if you're a cop. That's how it works. No, silly. I mean your spirit. Your hopes and dreams. Your life's passion. Yeah, I don't have any of those. I can even help you find romance. Good look at that. Romance? Seriously? Seriously. Often you can find your soulmate and your dream job in the same place. But if you'd rather focus on gainful employment for now, that's fine too. Workplace dating. Well, that's a recipe for disaster. And hitting, and hitting on co-workers right from the, right from day one can be kind of awkward. Or am I looking for love and... Wait. Or am I looking for love and ready to start right out of the gate? Never get a second chance to, to make a first impression. If I meet the right person, why put it off? How do I want to handle this new opportunity? Go for it. Uh... Sure, I'm open to possibility if I meet anyone else. Oh, what? I get to choose how the game goes? I don't necessarily know what it means for flirty first impressions. And I am lonely, so I'm definitely going to go for a romance option. But... So that's, that's out. Fuck it, yeah. I'll play it cool. Right now, I'd rather focus on finding career. Any sweet lemon can come later if I feel like it. Didn't I click romance? That's fine. I'm sure as, as you get to know people better, romance will eventually bloom. Or not. It's up to you, really. Now, let's get started. To finish analyzing your personal history, please authorize me to read your social media feeds and personal information metadata. Aha! I knew it. This is some kind of scam. This is. Why did I voice crack? This is some kind of scam. I'm going to wake up in <laughs> in a part of my device missing a kidney. Sure, I can. Sure, I can help you register as an organ donor. Bad command or file name? Oh, you being sarcastic. Sorry, I haven't quite finished analyzing your personality. I couldn't tell. Relax. I won't share your information with any third parties. This is strictly so I can find a dream job. Am I authorized? Another wonderful Juniper recommendation here. Just like the 17 help self-help books on my shelf. Still, 18th time is a charm, right? Yeah, go ahead. Please enjoy this recorded music. Analyzing. Analyzing. Please enjoy this recorded music. Let's go. It's actually kind of cool. Hey! So, do I just stand here or? Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay, it's done. Thank you for waiting. I've identified your dream job and arranged an interview. 30 minutes from now. Huh? Please put on some nice clothes. Nicer than those. Please. I don't think that's too much to ask. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? For your interview, silly. You want to look your best. But just... How? how oh, okay. How did you land my dream job in 20 seconds flat? Simple. I'm awesome like that. Now, get a move on. You need to catch the 8.20 a.m. bus. That's nine minutes away. Well, this is happening. But do I have a... But do... Um, but I do have a chance to get off this runway, runaway train. Nobody says I have to obey my new digital fairy godmother. I could delete the app and go find a real job. 
That'd be the safest option. I could. You know what? If if my kidney gets stolen, it's all good. Get dressed for Aris' job interview. A normal person, someone with high standards, would have deleted the app there, uh, right there rather than hop on a bus to meet uh, with with what were very likely men with sharp knives and taste of kidneys. But me, I was already getting dressed before she finished the sentence. It's not like it, it, it's not like I like you or anything. It's not that I believe the silly app's claims at serving my hopes and dreams on silver platter. Honestly, I expected another shoe shop job at best. But, well. Joke. Gutsy. Normal. The fucking, like, balance, like the, uh, blunt one. I forgot what it's called. I forgot the third option. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, this is obviously completely ridiculous. A personality quizzing app is going to solve my all my last problems? Yeah, and I'm a Nigerian prince of million bucks. But it satisfied Juniper's whimsy to see this through. And when it crashes and burns, it'll make for an amusing story to tell people. I resolve myself to accept inevitable disappointment, smile in the face of my usual fate, and look for jobs in the paper later tomorrow. And as I came to realize, weeks later, the amazing story I'd be telling people wasn't to be one of failure. Hey, let's go. Let's go. We got a job, probably. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Whoops up. <laughs> The bus dropped me off, oddly enough, not very far from Juniper's office building. Although, my destination isn't nearly as upscale as that. I swear, if we end up dating Juniper, um... This is, well... It's... Peng. Pengy Barbershop. Whole story, nice. This is, well, it's, it's a strip mall. Strip malls are, are, are relics of 19 blank. Places where a random assortment of weird little businesses jam as many of themselves into a, a tight space of possible. Into as tight of a space as possible. I did not speak English just now. For instance, I'm seeing a dentist. I use... Oh, for, for instance, I'm seeing a dentist, a used bookstore called The Whole Story, an arcade, a fast food joint, an arcade... An arcade, arcade spirits, funplex, and a boarded up health spa called Lattes and Enemas, <laughs> which, yeah, doesn't sound great. Wait, what? where is that? I don't see. Hmm. Hey, listen. You did not just, hey, listen me. You did not just, hey, listen me. Hey, listen. Shush. What do you think? I think that's two things no human being should ever combine. No, I mean about your future place of work. I'm desperately hoping we're not talking about the same thing. Which one of these businesses exactly am I working at? I don't know anything about oral hygiene or old books, and I'd rather not be a fry cook. One in the middle, silly. Whoops up? I'm, uh, I'm assuming the arcade. What, behind the arcade? It is the arcade. Oh, shit. Huh. Trust me on this. I reference and cross-reference and cross-cross-reference your personality details, personal history, and social media connections. This is your dream job. Fair enough. My dream job. Really? 99.97%. Fair. That's, that's, that's pretty fucking confident. I should probably explain my confusion. Arcades are big businesses in the entertainment sector. Pro gamers are celebs, five-star arcades are social hotspots. It's always been popular with the mainstream. We know this. <laughs> but, well, restaurants are popular too, right? And for everyone who who opens one up hoping to be the next Iron Chef, a dozen more shut down in failure. Oh, is Iron Chef a fucking rip-off of MasterChef? Okay. Arcade competition is fierce. 
paydays range from peanuts to gold, and sure, those who make it can secure fame and fortune, but those who don't, well, no wonder I receive this as a dream job. Video games weren't always this popular though. I read an interesting article about it once. Back in the year 1980 something, we narrowly avoided a serious in industry crash, which would have left video games as a kid's toy fad, 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 like hula hoops. I just thought the fucking crisp. No mainstream acceptance. For instance, one of the factors could have been a terrible game based on the kid's movie about a cute alien visitor who wanted to phone home. E.T. Phone Home. If this was, if this game was was complete poop butts, like poop from a butt, and massively overproduced, it it ruined video games for years. Fortunately, cooler heads prevailed. That game was delayed until it could be developed properly, and the crash was, was averted. The crisis only exists in theory now. This reminds me of Cyberpunk. It was released, it was delayed, I and mean, then it was still shit. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like for people in the darkest timeline, where everything went wrong. Are gamers con considered nerds and outcasts? Are arcades vanishing points of nostalgia? The mind boggles. Boggle. But make no mistake, as popular as they are, the arcade industry is a dodgy, risky pr prospect for a job. Plenty make a run at it, only to come up short. Considering I was... I was? I was, yeah, fuck it. Consider... Consider... <laughs> considering Iris was tasked with getting me a job I'd enjoy and could keep for more than a few months, this left me a bit confused. Iris... This isn't me saying no. It's an interesting prospect, but... I mean... Are you sure about this? You say you're 99% sure. Ninety nine point ninety seven percent. Okay. What well, must be like my life, my life, my life, my life guard job, bro. Satisfying but short lived. This arcade doesn't exactly look like a five star. It's no Deco's Palace, that's for sure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't set inside an arcade in a. Holy shit, we're a child. 15 years. Huh. I really. Re Wait, we were just at an arcade. If this is a loop, we're playing as ourselves, but. Oh my, my brain. Huh. I really. Re I remember really enjoying arcades when I was a kid. I wonder why I stopped going, going to them. Irish. In Irish? Iris interrupts that though. Interrupts that thought. You get to show for homework. My sources say yes. Trust me, when I said I was 99.97% sure, I meant it. That's not some arbitrary number. I'm designed to be a bit silly and whimsical, but my math is deadly serious. My code has made me to be the warm, personal, front of a database array that's currently laser targeted on getting you exactly what you need. Right here, right now. Now I've just got a laser pointing at your forehead, bro. If you if you disobey, you're gonna die. And, uh, <clears throat> and when this place inevitably collapses and I lose my dream job, what makes you think that's going to happen? Because it does. It always does. I don't think your database accounts for my family curse. We've always had to, I don't know, compromise, settle, because things rarely work out. You always have to be ready for the worst. It's why I take things in stride these days. Does that mean you shouldn't even try? I open my mouth to protest and then close it. As often as my life tends to crumble out from under me, it's not like she was wrong. I still have to try. But this was a joke, right? I mean, I'd assumed it was all a joke when I left my house this morning. I figured I'd have a wacky experience, fail miserably, and then get back to my not so funny, tragic life story. I just, I just realized. We, we rushed to get a bus, like, in, in nine minutes. Surely it's, like, past the meeting time now, because it's, like... In game time, it's been a bit long. 
And yet, there was something to this, wasn't there? Something I couldn't quite laugh off so easily. So, I opted to rush on through those doors and see what waited for me on the other side. Well, I hate to be the dickhead, but, um, we're going to leave that there for today. <laughs> uh, after all, this is just, like, my first video to, like, kind of see how things work with everything. So, I doubt it's going to get many views, but, um... If you like it, then leave a like, comment saying you want part two, etc. Please subscribe. I'm desperate. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video of uh, Arcade Spirits. But with that said, see you next time. Bye. I don't know how to outro these things. Bye.